Vanakam, Krishna Mackenzie. Today I'd like to talk about language and local food. At the moment there's a lot of talk about Hindi uh, as a unifying language in India. And while that sounds like a good idea for simply for communication, there will be a great loss of you know, a treasure that we have in India if that were to happen. That's because there's a huge diversity of indigenous cultures in India with their own dance and music and, and language and traditions. And all of those cultures emerged because in their particular bioregion, they had a relationship with the local food that grew there. So in Tamil Nadu, for example, we have, you know, the Moratakan, the balloon vine, which is really good for our joints. And we have things like the, um, the Sangapu, the Aparajita, the Clitoria tenetia, good for memory development and um, brains and also for women for their uterus. We have things like the, um, the Talinium triangulare, the Korikira which is a very wonderful spinach, you know, not to mention all the other little things, the green papaya and the banana flower, the banana stem. These foods are the very foundation of the culture that emerged here. Now, if you ask people what vegetables do you like, they say potato, carrots, beetroot, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, none of those grow here, you know, and yet we have this ancient culture. And we have that ancient culture in many, many different areas in India with their unique foods, their unique tastes. And all those foods are related to a particular language. If we lost that local language, we we'll lose the knowledge of how to use those foods. Not to mention we lose the knowledge of how to do particular handicrafts, maybe, you know, particular weaving and building techniques, how to use this particular wood that only grows in this area to make a special rope that you use to make a special, you know, something or other. Indigenous culture is diverse. And it's that diversity that is really at the root of well-being. So, you know, let's not come to one thing. Let's honor our diversity. Let's rejoice in the diversity that we have in foods, in language, you know, in cultures and traditions and music and dance. The diversity is at the heart of well-being. Thank you very much.